How's it going, boys? We're back, and before we get started, subscribe, like, share, definitely subscribe, definitely like, definitely share. And like I tell you guys, I'm gonna keep on telling you guys. I talk about a lot of cool shit, so you know how my numbers up. And today, boys, I'm just making a video just cause I feel like talking about this. Um, I noticed a couple of my dweeb homies have already been, you know, making the video, uh, but they've been, you know, aiming here and hitting there, just missing. Um, and if not not talking about the right things i guess uh so as you guys can tell from the uh title we're gonna be talking about pokemon go and how good of a set it was um to be completely honest it wasn't amazing it wasn't great um i would rate it a six out of ten and for me that's decent that is legit just decent um basically they you know there's a couple things here and there they could have fixed or added or took out um, but overall, it got the job done. And long term, it's gonna age amazingly. Uh, this is gonna be one of those sets that I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not in your pockets. I don't know how much money you got, but if you can invest a little bit in it, just to keep sealed, just for the future, uh, you know, what I'm saying, just so you can open up some in five years and not have to pay the astro you know, astronomical prices that it might hit. Um, I'll probably just go ahead, you know, pick up like you know, a TV or two, especially right now you can find them at forty four dollars. I don't know. It's one of those sets you definitely are going to enjoy opening it up, you know, four or five years from now. Um, but, you know, the reason I gave it such, you know, a six out of 10, a decent, you know, just great, um, is because honestly, they should have put a couple more secret rares. Um, and I'm only talking about the English one. Um, English and Japanese, I don't care how close of a set, you know, they make them. It's always two different animals, but the same beast. Shout out R.P. Kobe. Um, but you guys know what I'm saying. It's two different things. You can't compare them. You can't say one or the other and the other there's just there's you know it's tomato tomato um but <laughs> tomato tomato that's the wrong one you guys know what i'm saying same shit different things uh but the english one they should have added a couple more secret rares um they they, they did take away the three foldars for you know promos they did take away the three starters for promos as well but that wasn't you know that one wasn't a big deal the four ones the one that kind of hurt a little bit more um and can be completely honest with you guys they should have added more alternate arts. I know that's like, you know, the easiest answer, but they should have. I think they just missed so many opportunities, especially like they didn't, they didn't have a Gyarados alternate art in there. They didn't have, you know, in general, any. They only had the Conqueror, which I know everybody wants to talk about the price, but just in general, the Conqueror and Mewtwo, I don't know. If, it seems half-assed if you guys don't want to talk about. And which is pretty sad because usually Pokemon, they're really well buttoned up. They know what they're doing. But with this set... It just feels rushed. It feels like they, it was due by July and they were like, oh, it was like May and they were like, oh shit, we got to start this thing now. Um, and you know, I figured that out, like, I never really say this just cause you know, I do believe they're well planned, but it feels like it's one of those situations where they were kind of like, ah, oh, fuck it, it'll sell. You know what I'm saying? Um, I really wish they would have added more, you know, secret rares, more alternate arts, um, at least four or five you know what we're used to we're used to five four or five or six alternate arts especially this year sets if they were just had you know five or six honestly i think that would have been a lot better and in general just you know instead of taking out those three full arts maybe add you know do something with them keep the full arts in the set and make the promos with you know something else i'm not sure exactly what would have helped them sell but you know something else uh overall the amount of product that was out there it was really good. It was really good. There was plenty of Pokemon Go for everybody. Uh, for a while, you know, you, you to get Pokemon Go, you basically like to pay about five dollars retail. But for like the longest, you could. I mean, even right now, you can probably pick it up for about three fifty, almost four dollars a pack, which is pretty decent. You know, compared to just in general, right now, everywhere in the world, packs are going for four fifty nine or four forty nine. So honestly, pretty you know, pretty convenient. I think overall, like I said, that's the only reason I give it you know a six out of ten. Everyone wants to talk about, you know, pull rates and all that other stuff. But to be completely honest with you guys, pull rates are 100% just random. Like, literally random. Um, I've seen a cat that can literally pull alternate rainbows and all this and all that. I've seen another cat that, you know, did all this, you know, opened up a whole bunch and barely got, like, one rainbow professor's research. Um, overall, in general, I had pretty decent luck. I think it's a fun set. It's a small set. Don't get me wrong. Um, but like I said, six out of 10, um, comment down below. Let me know, you know what you guys think about it. Me personally, I liked it. It was decent. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm not going to really like dog it or trash it just cause 
going back to like you know the, the longevity you know the like you know the stomp stompness about this it's gonna be a good set to stock on um being completely honest with you guys it's gonna be one of those sets that people are gonna want to keep you know open down the line um comparing it to Sh shining legends is like pretty fair and i think that's what's gonna end up you know shiny legends kind of level where eventually it might be i'm not gonna say it's gonna be there but it might be a 30 dollar pack and right now you guys are kind of like you know oh pokemon goes trash but it wasn't but it wasn't amazing either like i said a couple of missed opportunities but it is what it is i just kind of want you know talk about it, especially like people were going at it from the wrong directions and comparing to the japanese and that's kind of it's kind of weird like i said you can't compare you can't compare the languages uh no matter how close of the set it is even like i think comparing like shiny face to like shiny shiny all-stars that's not even like you know like a fair comparison either just because you know it's two different sets or was it shiny all stars you guys know what i'm talking about just just can't compare but charcoal clank charcoal we got grammar oh yeah now i'm opening up brilliant stars too i was gonna open up that etv um but i might hold on to it for a live i'm not entirely sure yet right now and psh, clank nathan rock energy not to match but if you guys have any you know any opposing thoughts or anything comment down below i literally answer everybody so with all that being said we gone